and welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this video. I got some quick commentary going on on this video, so I'm just here to come at you to say what's up to my black people out there. This is a pro black video. Um, just seeing how everybody's doing, get my thoughts on 2016 and this black agenda, and what we need to do as far as. Uh, pushing a African American or black agenda. Now, first and foremost, the election is about to start. The general election. So this is out for. <coughs> this is something for black people to marinate off of what I'm about to say, and we need to first start off by issue one is hip hop. I think that we need to stop. The hip hop movement. The hip hop movement is controlled by Jewish people, as you guys can see. They're making all this money off of uh, trashing black women, trashing black women, um, teaching young black kids to be in the streets, and you know the violence that come with that. Whether it's uh, mainstream hip hop. Or even underground hip hop. It needs to stop. Uh, black people need to really reassess of pushing to not let their kids listen to this uh, music, you know, and paying for this music, feeding white supremacy all this money, feeding them and causing the mayhem on the streets because these kids, these young black people. Are, are looking at these uh, rap these rappers as examples of how to live their life this hip hop lifestyle all the big booty females all of the the uh, you know the thuggetry that comes with that uh, you know stuff that's not constructive in the black community that should be uh, a big part of our agenda in fighting for black rights in the United States we need to preach more of education less hip hop that's fact less, less hip hop so number two I, I, another thing that's been on my mind is the coons now being a coon is really really popular I have yet to hear a coon talk about things such as uh, the hip hop movement stuff that I was just talking about. I've not heard Coons encourage blacks to get educated. You never hear Coons talk about these different things. They never talk about uh, loving your color and embracing the African man and the African woman around the world and in the United States. You don't really hear that. So the Coons' job, again, is to be agents of white supremacy. The Coons' job is to tell blacks to keep them in bondage along with their slave masters. That's the Coons' job. It's people like my job, pro-blacks' jobs, like my pro-black people like myself and Afrocentric people around the world in the United States. It's our jobs to tell individuals. I know I said pro-jobs people, so that's why I miss talking. But it's our job to educate and open the eyes to the real brothers and sisters out there that, who wants to stop systematic racism, educate themselves, and be successful in, 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 and build upon the black family. It's, it's, my, it's my job to do that. Stop the violence on the streets. Uh, stop this hip-hop movement that's going on and mainstreaming violence and, and, and disrespecting black women. All that is our job to do. It's our job to stop black people from pushing a, 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 a gay agenda. It's our job to stop pushing this radical uh, 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 gay stuff that's going on, too. But that's another story. That is another story. So, you know, me as a pro-black, you know, an Afrocentric black man, I'm trying to uh, uh, regain black pride around the world and push 
our culture to boundaries that we've never been before. And I think that we could do it. A shout out to the pro blacks of on YouTube. Shout out to the pro uh, uh, Afrocentric people, sit brothers and sisters around the world that's pushing and battling white supremacy. Now, a lot of coons they come at me of uh, in different uh, 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 they come at me in different uh, uh, forms, and they try to tell me about why black people is bad. And I keep telling these coons why black people is good. They give me these different examples. But black people were on the rise, were on the rise of doing other things this year in 2016. We're on the rise to do way more than we ever done. And that's fact. Um, another thing that we need to try to do too this year is try to get black people out to the polls this year and really, really push a, a, a black agenda. And that black agenda, we need to push when we vote in the general election. Whoever you guys vote for that's black, whoever you vote for, make sure that the candidate best suit what agenda you're going for. Make sure that they push a black agenda to you. Now, me, I have my reason for who I vote for. But if you guys vote, make sure it benefits, it benefits, I'm sorry, African-American people by going against gay marriage. Uh, 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 fighting white supremacy, police brutality, uh, uh, educating our kids, better school systems, uh, more colleges to be accessible to black kids because this is a dangerous time in the United States. Uh, they already have the Supreme Court uh, tipping the balance, which you guys need to look out for because of affirmative action. We want more black people to go to universities without having to go through uh, trying to get in through the other way, which the other way is a bad way because, the, again, you have white supremacy controlling the colleges. So it's just little things like that that we need to uh, 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 um, talk about, the stuff that we need to discuss. Black people need to get together and find out how we could mobilize our agenda as far as voting is concerned because this is a year that we need to really let these politicians earn our votes. But affirmative action is something also that you need to pay attention to and pay attention to the balance of the court because you don't want the court to tip the scales to where they could chip away at affirmative action also. So, you know, it's just different things that we as a people need to talk about. But shout out to Tariq Nasheed for uh, his Coon Train Awards. I enjoyed it. Shout out to Brother Umar Johnson. Um, who else I could think of? And shout out to some other one. I, I can't think of all of them right now because so many names. Shout out to uh, King Noble. Because I watch his videos. He fights white supremacy. Um, shout out to Two Fly. And many other brothers and sisters out there. That's still uh, pushing Malcolm X's message. Marcus Garvey's message. Uh, uh, Frederick Douglass's message. Uh, Dr. King's message. Shout out to all the brothers and sisters out there. That's still fighting the struggle. Let's make things happen people. Peace out.